Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve one of last week's leak code contest problems. This is a new problem, so frequency of the most frequent element. So the frequency of an element is the number of times that it occurs in the given array except there's a couple things that are added in this case. So we're given an integer array of nums and a particular integer k. Basically the value k tells us the number of times we're allowed to increment a value in the array nums. So for example, if k equals two, that means we're allowed to increment two times. So we could increment this value twice, or maybe we could increment this value once and then increment this value once, right? k is basically the total budget that we have of increments available to us. And given that condition, we want to return the maximum possible frequency of an element after we perform at most k operations. So k is the number of operations we're allowed to perform. We want to see what's the greatest frequency we can get for an element if we're given k operations at most. So let's take a look at this example. So we see we're given a one, a two, and a four, and k is five, meaning we're allowed to increment five times. So what value could we make the most frequent? Well, take a look at the one. Let's say we wanted to make all of these values one. Is that even possible? No, because we're not allowed to to decrease values. We can't make this two or this four any smaller. We're only allowed to add values to it. So if we want to get the maximum possible frequency of one values, the max is just gonna simply be one. What about two values, right? We're, we see we have a single two. Let's try to make as many two values as we can. Well, we, we have a budget of five, right? K is five. We can increment this one a single time, right? So now it'll be two. So now we have one two and two twos, right? We have two occurrences of the value two. What about this four? Can we increment the four anymore? Well, we could increment it, right? Since we used a single one of our Ks, K is now going to be four remaining, but we can't add any to this, uh, to this four to make it a two, right? And we're not allowed to decrease values. So we can only get two occurrences. Two is the frequency of the value two that we could possibly get. What about four? If we're trying to make these remaining values four, how should we do it? Well, which one should we start with? Obviously two is closer to four than one is. And by that, I mean the value, right? We only need to increment two twice to make it a four, but we need to increment one three times. So let's increment two twice. What happens when we do that? The, the two is incremented twice, it becomes a four. K, what about what happens to K? Well, K is gonna go from five to three because we had to spend two of the increments. So we have three left. How many times do we need to increment this one in order to make it a four? Three times, good for us. We have exactly three left, so we increment this one three times, now it's a four. So in total, we end up with three fours, right? You can see our array now has three fours. So that's obviously the max, right? The frequency of fours that we can possibly get given this K value is three, right? Three is the frequency. That's the value that we're gonna output in the result. So first, let me just tell you how we're gonna solve this problem. And I'll also explain a little bit of the intuition as to why we're doing it this way. So you can see up here, how we're gonna solve this is first we're gonna sort the input array and then we're gonna apply a sliding window technique to this problem. And that's gonna allow us to solve this problem in big O of n log n time. It would be linear because the sliding window portion is linear, but clearly we do have to sort it and sorting is gonna take n log n time. So first, let me explain why are we sorting the input array. So see, we have a limited budget of increments we can perform. That's our K value, right? So, and just like I showed in the previous example, let's say we're looking for the maximum number of fours that we can create, right? To create more fours, we need to find values that are less than four, right? And we can find values that are less than four at the left portion of the array. Why? 
Why? Because the array is in sorted order, right? We're definitely not going to look to the right side of the array. Over there, we're only going to find values that are greater than or equal to 4. We can't turn those values into 4 by incrementing them with our k. So that's why we're going to look at the left values and convenient for us when we do sort the input array, we can see that the values closest to 4 are the ones that we're going to be incrementing first, right? Let's take a look at our budget. We have a budget of 2k, right? Why would I increment this one? I can increment this one all the way to 3, right? But then I have to spend both of my k's and this value isn't even 4 yet, right? Or I could choose instead to increment the value 2 because 2 is closer to 4, right? It's not going to take as many increments to get this to equal 4. If I spend my entire budget of k on this, so increment it by 2, then I get a 4, right? 4 is uh, equal to this, right? So that's why sorting the values puts them close together where they actually need to be. And that's and that just basically works out for us. Next, let me show you why we're using a sliding window. First, let me just tell you the, the window itself, we're gonna have two pointers, a left pointer and a right pointer, right? So let's say our right pointer is over here. The right pointer is gonna tell us th the value at that right pointer is a special value. This is the value basically we're considering that this is the most frequent element, right? And what our window is gonna tell us is basically what if we turned every value in inside of our window into this special value, right? This is the frequent value we're gonna try to create. And basically what our window is gonna do is we're gonna see we're going to keep expanding our window, right? We're going to keep growing it and growing it as much as we can to the right while our budget of K allows it. Basically, while we have enough values K to turn this special value, to turn every value into this special value. So let me actually walk through it and then you'll see exactly what I mean and you'll see why it works out. So initially our sliding window is just gonna start at the first value. So our left and right pointer is just at this value. So since our right pointer is here, this is our special value one, right? We want every value in our sliding window to be one. So what are we gonna check? Well, we're gonna have one variable, which is gonna tell us the total sum of our window. So currently that's gonna be one, right? Because we just have a single value. So this is the condition that we're gonna use to tell us uh, to continue to expand the window. So I know this might be a little messy. I'm gonna walk through it. So the value num at the right pointer, right, for our sliding window, num at position right, times the length of our window. So right now we see the length of our window is just one, right? We only have one element and that value itself num at right is also one, right? So this is just going to be one times one is less than the total uh, sum of our window, right? We're keeping track of that over here, right? It, with this other variable total is less than total one plus K. So K is two in this case, right? So so basically we're saying while one is less than three, which is true, right? So we're gonna continue to expand our window. Why are we doing it like this? This might take you a second to get to wrap your head around why we're ca calculating it like this. I can walk through it very quickly. This num at the right position, let's say we were num was over, or right position was over here, right? Two is the value we're trying to make the most frequent. So let me just cross this out and let's say our left pointer is over here, right? So this is our window currently. So our window length is four. So our, our calculation is two times four which is eight, of course. That's what the total would be if all four of these values were two, right? Which is what we're trying to create. So we're trying to take this one, turn it into a two, this one turn it into a two, and this one turn it into a two. So all four of them become twos, right? Because we're trying to make the two the most frequent. But the total tells us what the true sum of these values actually is, right? Which is one plus one plus one plus two, right? So the actual sum is just five. So we're checking if this condition is true. 5, which is the total, plus k, which is 2. So that's 7, right? We're checking is 8 less than 7. This is 
false, right? Why are we adding K to the total? Because K is the value that's our budget, right? We're allowed to spend two values. Basically, we're allowed to take this one, turn it into a two, this one, turn it into a two, right? And if we did that, right? Then the sum of these four values would be seven. Basically, if we spent all the K increments, we would turn it into a seven, which is not big enough because we would need it to be eight. Why do we need it to be eight? Because if all four of these values were two, then this would obviously sum to eight. So right now what we're seeing is we're in violation. Our K value is not big enough for us to say that this window is valid. So since we're expanding while this condition is true, since this condition is false, we can no longer expand it and instead we have to decrease the size of our window. Okay, so with that being said, let's actually now walk through this problem. So first thing we see, okay, one, one, the wind, the condition is valid, right? So we're going to expand our window. So we're going to take our right pointer, shift it to this next position. And once we do that, we're going to update our total, right? Our total is going to change from one. Instead, now it's going to be two. I'm going to continue to update that. So right now our condition is valid. We see that the num at the right position is one times the length of the window. Two is less than the total, which is over here to the left we see is two plus K, which is two, right? So this condition is true right now. We can continue to expand the window. So now our right pointer is over here. I'm gonna quickly walk through the rest of this example. The total is gonna be three. Again, we're gonna find our condition is valid. We're gonna get one times three is less than uh, four. Actually not four, it's gonna be three plus two, which is gonna be five. So we're gonna continue to expand. Oh, and by the way, very quickly, since we are look, we're basically looking for the max size of the window that we can get that is still valid. So right now we have a window length of three. It's still valid. So, so far that's going to be our result, right? We're, we're just looking for the max window length that we can get. And that's what we're going to end up returning. So again, we're going to take our right pointer, cross it out, shift it to this next position. Right now, we're going to find that our total is not, our condition is not valid. The total is going to be updated to five. And we're going to see that two times the window length four is not less than five plus two, right? So now we're going to be decreasing our window length. Basically, we're shifting the left pointer. So right now, I'm going to cross this left pointer out and shift it one spot over. So left pointer is going to go over here now. Let's recheck the condition. So when we shift that pointer, we are updating our total. We're decrementing it by one. So now our total is going to be four. Let's recheck the condition. We get two times three is less than. Oh, by the way, the condition is actually less than or equal, not just less than. So less than or equal to the total, which is four plus K, which is two. So six is less than or equal to six. So this condition is true. We continue. So we shift our right pointer one spot over. Now it's going to be over here. Now we're going to add two to our total because we just added a two to our window. So total is now going to be six. Now we're going to check is two times the window length four less than or equal to the total, which is six plus K, which is two. Yep. Eight is less than or equal to eight, meaning this window is allowed. Basically, we have enough budget K to change this one into a two and change this one into a two. So all four of them could be twos and four so far, the value four is the maximum we have gotten for a window. So the last position in the array is where we're going to put our right pointer now. It's going to be at four. We're going to update our total, increment it by four. It's, our total is now 10, which we're going to find is going to lead us to an invalid value because four is the value in the rightmost position now. Multiply that by our window length five, which is going to give us 20. That's not big enough for this because our total plus K is 12. It's not big enough. Right, it's not less than or equal. So what we're gonna end up doing is keep shifting our left pointer. And let me just basically run through this so we can jump into the code. Basically, see this left pointer, it's not gonna end up being valid until we shift the left pointer all the way over here. Reason being is look at our budget K. We have enough to increment this two into a four, but we just don't have enough to increment this into a four, right? We only have enough budget to increment this to a four. So this is gonna be the largest window we can make with a four value. 
So with that being said, this single condition, as well as the uh, knowing to sort the input array prior to running the algorithm are the main things about this problem. After that, it becomes pretty easy. I'll show you the code now. It's actually pretty short. So now let's take a look at the code. Remember, the first thing we want to do is sort the input array. This is what makes the uh, algorithm mostly inefficient. It becomes n log n because of the sorting. Other than that, we're just going to be implementing a, sim a relatively simple sliding window. We're going to have a left and right pointer initially are both going to be zero. We're going to have a result. This result is going to store that max frequency that we are going to return. And we're also going to have a total, which is going to tell us the total sum of the current window. These can both initially be set to zero. And then we're just going to keep iterating through the entire input array while our right pointer is in bounds. So while right is less than the length of our input array nums. And just like in the drawing, every time we get a new value at the right position, we're just going to take that value and add it to our total. We want to keep track of what the total sum is of our current window. And I'm going to have another nested while loop, but this won't change the overall complexity of this outer while loop because this is just a sliding window. And basically, I'm going to have the opposite of what I had previously. So I'm going to take the num value at the rightmost position, multiply it by the length of the window. We can get the length of the window by subtracting the right pointer from the left, add one. You can check my math. It does work out, I believe. And so while this, this total sum is greater than the total sum that we have plus the K budget or the K uh, increment values that were allowed, basically this is saying while our window is invalid, this is the window that we're trying to create, this single value of nums multiplied by the size, but this is our true total that we have. And if it's if this value is greater than what than what is available to us, then what do we have to do? We have to shrink our window. So we're going to be incrementing the left pointer. But before we do that, we're going to be taking the value at the left pointer and subtracting it from our total sum. And then once this loop stops executing, that must mean that our window is now valid once again. So in that case, we can update our result. So set it to the max of itself and the max of the current window size. So right minus left plus one again. We're just getting the size of the window just like we did up here. And last but not least, this is the part I always forget. Don't forget to increment that right pointer since we're doing a while loop and we want the right pointer to go through every single position in the input array nums. But other than that, like I said, it's a pretty simple sliding window problem. Once you know this specific condition and once you know to sort the input array. So this is actually the entire algorithm. Once this is done, our result should be set to the uh, max frequency that we can possibly create so we can return that result. And even though we do have a nested while loop, notice how this while loop could only execute a total number of times of the input array nums, right? See this left pointer, it can, it can only go through every position in the input array. So this, this portion itself is a linear algorithm. This, the sorting is what makes it n log n. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot, and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.